All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mod 7. Guys, we have so much fun stuff planned for today, and I just want to thank all of you, all 828 of you who have subscribed in the last 28 days. That's right, we have a lot of people coming in, but just thank you all so much for uh, subscribing. And look, I put in a door. Yes, we have a back door here. Very cool, so we don't have to run all the way around. Uh, that was suggested in the comments, so we went ahead and did that, and I also went ahead and removed all of the planks here and we just kind of set this up so um the door is kind of on the outside looks a little interesting from here you know not too bad but uh yeah so yeah that that looks a lot better this looks more manageable we might start furnishing this here pretty soon uh but yeah so we have a couple things we need to do today in this order this is what we're going to do uh so first off we're going to start with trying to get a diamond jetpack so I believe I actually have, nope, I do not have a jetpack, cool. So let's just go ahead and craft one up. Wooden jetpack, uh, this is the base tier, we need a leather strap, I did craft up everything else, but bam, now we have a wood jetpack, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this to a stone jetpack, which means we gotta make some of these guys. And the cool thing is we have over a hundred and 61,000 redstone dust. Yeah, so since we've upgraded the uh, reactor, we've been moving a lot faster. I'll show you guys that in a couple of minutes here. But uh, yeah, we have so much, so much stuff. And we might actually end up setting up a couple of bonsai plants today um, so that we can get wood kind of automated, you know? You feel me? We always need the wood. Okay. So here we go, stone jetpack, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go 12 of these just in case. That should easily suffice for what we need. Yep, we got two of those. We need one, uh, oops, sorry. We need one of these big boars. Yep, there we go. And we got this guy. Oh, wait. There we go, stone jetpack, good to go. And we go uses, so we're making the silver one. We've got plenty of silver. We'll just make 12 of each. I don't know if that's the best number for that, but that's the number we're making. Yeah, I don't think that's actually efficient at all. <laughs> cool, but it gives us enough. Okay, so here we go. We can go electrum, we can go steel, or we can go gold. Um, they're all the same, except Invar and steel are higher, but we can use gold. We have a lot of gold, so I think we're gonna make a gold jetpack. Yeah, we've got we got a crazy amount of gold. Oh, we're out of the middle thing. Can we really go through four of those? Four stacks of those? That doesn't make any sense. Cool. So we have enough of the oh. Oh, this makes sense. We need the advanced coil. Cool. Okay, so we have enough of those, which is good. Let's go ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I totally counted off. Don't to judge. Promise I'm not being silly. There we go. And gold jetpack is ours. Good. Now... We can craft up a diamond jetpack. All right. Craft up one of those. Craft up two of those. And bam, diamond jetpack holds 30 million RF. What can we use for this? Oh, we know we have a bunch of emeralds. We might as well just make it. So we need to make the elite. Okay, so we need some more wood. Um, yeah, this is why we need lots of wood because we make lots of sticks. And we have to make lots of sticks from lots of wood. I don't know where I'm going with this. All right. I've got some something super duper exciting to show you guys. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, here we go. One of these guys, two of those, and bam, emerald jetpack. There we go. Emerald, because we're like turtle. We're turtles, that's good. Okay. All right, yeah, so we're at all the modium. Now we do technically have some all the modium, but that's kind of the purpose of today's video that we got to show. All right, so I did set up a charge pad here. 
which by no means is going to charge us quick. There we go. Actually, that's pretty quick. That is not slow, not gonna lie. There we go. Check it out, all charged up, we're good to go. Yeah, that drained a lot of power. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and throw it on. There we go, okay, so it's not turned on. The cool thing is with our um, our bunny feet, bunny hoppers, we don't take any fall damage. Uh, and then what what was it configured to? Um, nearing iron jetpacks, okay. So toggle engine, can we set it to, no, we can't set it to delete, what about insert? Yeah, we can set that, oh wait, what about up? Nope, let's set it to insert. So insert will be to toggle that. And then if we set this to home, yes, we can. So homes hover, and then we can turn it on. So let's see, how fast can we race? Oh, oh wow, we're moving. We are moving. Now hover is where, it's oh yeah, that's right. We can just fall, because we don't take any fall damage. Beautiful, all right, so we switch on hover. Okay, that's quick. That's real quick. Awesome. Whoop, that's uh, end. Okay, so the reason why we needed that is because we need to go here to the teleporting mining dimension, and this is where things get crazy. So hover mode, that's it. Got it on. So we're just gonna zip on. Yeah, I thought that was a world error chunk as well. But yes, so this thing has been working really well. As you can see, it's mining up super fast. But the thing is, is that our builder quarry cannot mine all the modium. So it's just sitting here. And so we can get our fortune pickaxe and just come and mine it. This is why I switched it to a clearing quarry. Uh, or yeah, clearing quarry, check it out. So it's actually super cheap. So clearing fortune quarry is just that with just glass around it. So it's extremely, extremely cheap to switch our quarry over. So I did that last night. Actually, no, maybe a couple of days ago. Because uh, yesterday was my birthday. I'm recording this the day after. Uh, this is Saturday. Monday for you guys. Anywho. But yeah, now we can get a lot of all the modium. And this is actually the second quarry. Sorry, it's a little difficult to control. And I don't want to uh, mine it while we're floating around. Okay, so is that all? Nope, we still got more all the modium. And this will continue to find more as well. I, I guess just not mine more. This is the method I used in season two uh, to get the uh, unobtainium. So we have the ability to do that with all the modium. So yeah, that should be all of it in this area. And you're like, oh man, only 50. Well. I was trying to find where the other quarry was actually set up, and I found it. It is right here. Oh. So yeah, we got a lot of all the modium over here, so I don't know why I didn't mine that area. But now we can mine up this stuff. So yeah, clearing quarry in the all the modium dimension. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, that's all the modium. <laughs> I get it. Uh, but yeah, we got all of that mined up. Oop, I think I was the right. Yeah, I was. Okay. So anyway, yeah, uh, we'll continue to find more, which is cool because of our, our quarry over here. Um, have we found any more? No, we haven't found any more. That's okay. Yeah, but this is the amount we have over two stacks now. So do teleport slash home or just slash home. It is the basic. Cool. And so what we can do is actually double this, which is amazing. Can you put this into mechanism? You can. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
We might have to do something about that. That could be really fun. Okay, so anywho, let's get a copper hammer going. We got a couple of these guys left. Perfect. Okay, so we have one, two, three, almost six stacks. Ooh, Harvest Moon rises. That scared me for a second. Yeah, now we can get these all processed up. We got all the modium coming right in. So cool. Cool. So now that that's all been processed up, for one, we can complete the quests. So let's check this out. Okay. Yes, we got an ingot. That's good. Ooh, we even got more dust. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Got a full ingot. Dope. Okay. So, um... Yes, we have the Emerald Jetpack. Let's work on the Machine Infuser because we want to make some dimensional cells, but we need some Prismarine Shards, right? And so this is the thing that I believe we're going to kind of get into Create for. Uh, do I have any Soul Sand? Yes, I do. Thank goodness. Do I have any Flint and Steel? Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be making this guy. We don't have a single thing. So we're going to make up a bunch of the andesite alloy. We're out of andesite. Okay, that's fine. Make a shaft. Uh, we'll make this. We need buttons. We need buttons. We need planks. Let us make buttons together. Perfect. Here we go. And then, oh, we got eight from those. So we only need one. And then andesite casing. We need one. Jeez Louise, man. Okay, and then we will make propeller, and we will make encased fan. Perfect. Now we need a crank. What are you? Nope, you're not the right crank. Okay, yes. Um, and we're gonna make a big gear. Uh, do, do, do. Where is the big gear? There's small gear. There's crank. Where's big gear? There's big gear. Okay, now this will increase the speed. Um, let's put it down here for now. Uh, yep, we got everything we need. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to set up the encased fan in a temporary spot. Um, we could do that here. How does this, oh, it needs to be connected to the back, right? Oh, not like that. Like this. Perfect. Okay. So small gear here. Big gear here. Crank can go here. Okay, so it's going the wrong way. So we need to flip it. So what we do is we take a small gear here. We to put a big gear here and then we do it. Yes. Perfect. And it's actually moving way faster, too, because we have two gear ratio changes. So, yeah, we can take this block here. We can put this here. Light it on fire. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that is good to go. All right. And now that those are good... To get the dimensional, oh, that's not the one we need. We need a dimensional cell. We need the prismarine shards, which is lapis. We have a little bit of lapis, so that is good. And so what I'm gonna do here is we put a, we're gonna put a block here. I just, I don't wanna risk throwing it right into the fire because that would feel sick. Oh, I need to turn my magnet off. Dong. Okay, so those there. Yep, and then if we do this, you can see the fire effects going on. Hey, look at that. And there we go. So we have prismarine shards. We got a lot of them, actually. And we even have some prismarine crystals, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to, because my base is all wood, I'm going to take that away. Even though we have fire tick off, I'm just, I am nervous about it. Anywho, so now we have prismarine shards. We even have prismarine crystals, which is great. But now we can make these dimensional cells. Um, yep, how many do we want to make? At least three. Yeah, okay. 
So we also need to make some link cards. They are here. We need more paper. Oh, by the way, I did set up a bunch of... Sh I put the sugar cane in the garden cloth, so we have all the paper we could ever need now, which is so fantastic. So now we can make all the papering deeds. All the deeds of the paper. So we just have three. Okay, and then we're going to upgrade these up to max tier. Uh, so we need a couple of those. And what else are we missing? Nothing. Okay, and then we have the machine infuser. So we are going to go ahead and get this guy going. But we need to inject some power to him. Yes. So we can put those there. We're going to get a item pipe. And we're going to get a drawer. Because we need to put a bunch of these dimensional shards in it. Um, drawer. Here we go. Oak drawer. And then we get a pipe. There's this guy. We just need one. And then we get one of these. Beautiful. Let's set it up. This is going to be sweet. Cool. So we're just going to put this guy here. I don't want to have it all over the place. And then... There we go. So we're pulling out of here. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to clear my inventory. And I got to show you guys a macro I created where it holds shift click uh, repetitively for you. Uh, oh, we needed that. Uh, let me get that pipe upgrade again. So yeah, let's put the magnet back on into the charm slot. Let's upgrade that pipe real quick. Sorry, a little forgot to do that while we were here. Oh. Jeez Louise, I forgot to jump uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my. Oh. So yeah, if I go if I hit this button on my mouse, which is G9. Yes, it's really helpful when it comes to auto crafting. Uh, and check it out. So the lot the this is my mouse I have. And then if we look at the assignments, we can turn this guy here and the auto click. So this is the macro I created. See, how do you edit it? Um, I don't know. But anyway, it holds down shift and click and just like repeat repetitively clicks. I can make it even faster if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, now this is infusing. Perfect. So let's get some more. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, definitely helps out a whole lot. I'm going to turn the jetpack off so I don't launch myself in the next week. But yeah, just a little click of the button. <laughs> it's good. I like it. It really helps when you're doing the three by three, like compressing of some of the uh, ingots. Um, I wonder if all of those are going to be infused. That would be cool. <gasps> oh, no. I was about to say, I was like, we're closer to time in a bottle, but we are definitely not closer. And we need an upgrade on that. Okay, so it says 100, but are each of these are infused to 100%. Okay. So that means they are the fastest tier that we can actually make from RF tools. So we'll do is we'll take this guy and we'll say, no, 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 this guy. And input on all sides. He's not set up to a link yet. He's going to ruin it. <laughs> Where did the leak card go? Did I accident? Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't type. What is wrong with me? Okay. So we need three of these. Perfect. 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 Okay. So, yes. Now we link them. So this guy is linked. It's linked up. Input. So this guy's going to receive a lot. We actually probably don't even need these anymore. We'll, have, we'll leave the one on the bottom because we can. But yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the one in the building. The FTB thingamabobber doohickey. All right. So this guy right here was... It. Oh, my magnet wasn't turned on. There we go. Okay. And so this guy here, we link it up here. And output on all sides. Oh, my Lord. Look at that thing go. And it is filling up the ultimate cables. Which means, theoretically, this thing should be moving even faster. Look how fast that is. Holy crap. 
That's so much faster than Instamite. I have the highlighting on, but you can barely even see it. Man, that is moving. Oh, no. Man, that thing is quick. Cool. So that's good. But the reason why we really wanted uh, these guys is I will show you. We need one more. Uh, let's go ahead and put him here. Yes. But now that we have these guys made up, we need to make the digital miner. So we're going to go ahead and make that real quick. Uh, we need logs. Logs for planks. Walk the plank, matey. Arg, 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 arg. Oh, I did not mean to make 21 of those. However, I did. All right, now we need a robot. Okay, so I need a couple of these. Um, do, do, do. What do we need? Refined obsidian ingot. How do you make that? Oh, through an osmium compressor, a compressor. Compressor. Okay, I haven't upgraded those to the ultimate tier yet. We actually can. Uh, I've got quite a few of the atomic alloys. But anyway, uh, we need a cable. Cable. I'll put it. I'll put the best. The best around. Nothing ever going to take me down. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Beautiful. Okay, so we have some of the refined obsidian dust now. So that means we can do this. So no. How do we get the osmium into there though? Oh, yeah. Sorry, we can't use a block. Jeez Louise, that is loud. <laughs> Who needs a muffling upgrade when you can just do that? Cool. So we have 32 of these guys now. So we can go ahead and make the robot other than the personal chest. Bam, we got that. Robot, we got it. Cool. Let's make a second one. So we can have one follow us around. Yes, we got our robot. So cool. Okay. And so all we need are these teleportation cores. And those are good. Bam. We have the digital miner. So, so great. Because we can set this to mine for like ancient debris or something like that. Um, do I have any debris? No. We'll have to just use that. But now this is like super, super cool. We just set this guy up with power and we can tell it what to mine or what to look for, right? So where's the power? I believe this is power. Is there one on the other side too? There is, okay. We can even set up two of these if we wanted. So if we output on all sides, yep, this guy's got power. Uh, and then we can configure it to mine material. Uh, what about a tag? Uh, what about... Hmm. Hmm. So maybe we need to mine that with some silk touch. Wait. What if I switch to ancient debris? Can we set this up in the nether? No, that's where you take the item, mod ID. I don't think this is it, no, prick. Hmm, okay. Do we have any kind of ore? We do, we have some iron ore. Let's see about doing that. Let, let's give it some iron ore and tell it to mine. It should mine. So config, new filter, item stack, bam, iron ore, save. And if we go like this. Auto jack, auto pull, silk touch on. So now it's going to pull all of the iron ore. And we can put upgrades into this. So we're going to do energy upgrades and then speed upgrades. Because this guy probably takes a lot of, a lot of hog.
cool. We'll just pull it out of this guy because we won't really use him for a little bit anyway. Yeah, I should right-click all the these. So now we're using one point that something. Oh, geez. Let's see about getting another one of the advanced boys. I think it just can't pull power out fast enough. So maybe we did need one more. Shoot. It's pretty simple to make. We just got to go and fuse it. And then we need another network card or power cell card. So we infuse it and it is good to go. So here you go, get infused, my guy. Perfect, with it fully infused, we can now add it to the other side. Maybe have some more stable power. Oh, I've run out of food. Okay, link output. Ooh, are we just using all of that? Hmm. All is well. To mine zero. Oh, so it mined everything. Very cool. Um, what else can we mine? If anyone knows how to turn off that starting server backup, like notification, please let me know. I want to know. Anyway, let's get the robot online because we have one. I did not expect to have our own robot today. So cool. So we put him on the charge pad. So he'll charge up. Robot. We will name him something. Rename this robot. He will be Butchie. If you don't know who Butchie is, his name is Psychotic Butcher. He's a great friend of mine. Anyway, so yes. Um, true. Drop items pick up. Uh, follow mode. Following true. Let's go, Butchie. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love Butchie. Where'd he go? Butchie. You have to go around the freaking things, my guy. Over here. Over here. Come on. Ah, Butchie! Okay. Follow? Follow? No. Butchie, please. <laughs> oh, no. No, I just get further enough away when we teleport. Yes, look, there he is, Butchie. All right. Cool. I am easily amused. Anyway, we have the digital miner. We'll set that up in a little bit. I want to go ahead and make the player transmitter. This will charge us wirelessly. Oh, use an aerial husk. Okay, maybe we don't have that. Okay, so we need to use that on a zombie. So maybe we'll skip that for today. But anyway, we need to plug this into power. Uh, and this will allow us to um, use our furnaces using power and not uh, coal. So we just need a bunch of these guys. So we're going to need quite a few of these. We're going to need quite a few of these. That's good. And oh, not that one. And this one. Cool. Okay. So let's get this guy plugged in somewhere. And that's a good spot. Okay. He's got power. Okay. Yeah. So it's linked. Can I just click these to link them? No. So these have to go in there. Cool. Okay. So those are all linked to that guy. And instead of coal, we take this out and we put it in. So now, I didn't know those were in there. <laughs> we are using heat. It's like a wireless heat transmitter. So it's highly recommended by you guys. I've used it before. It's really great. And we can use it on this guy too. Get rid of this. Okay, so let's test it out. What do we need to smelt? Um, let's smelt a bunch of cobble, right? And so we'll throw these guys in here. And as you can see, it is working. So it's using power to smelt the stone. So now we don't have to worry about putting any more power into this because it's already there. So cool. Put all of our glass in here. And 
we could actually swap that to a ender chest and then all the items that we smelt would go right into our system. So we can sweat, we'll put it to one of those. But yeah, it's going, it's going good. All right, so that was that one. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can go find a zombie. It is nighttime out. Oh, jeez. Robot scared me. Or Butchier. Butchie did. Um... Yes, here we go. We got a zombie. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Butchie, where'd you go? There he is. Cool. All right, so we have that guy that we needed. So we need more of these guys. All right, and then uses. We need this guy. And then uses. Bam. Okay, so player transmitter. Uses. We can upgrade to the next tier, to the next tier, to the next tier, and to this tier. And we don't have this yet. I actually want to go ahead... We do have a bunch of ender pearls, so we can set that up. However, I believe our system is still very much processing uranite. Yeah, so we're going to let this guy kind of go for a bit more. We're not going to do that 100%, but we will take this here, and I believe we just put that. Um, player transmitter. Let's see. Let's go into power. There should be a little card. Is it this binding card? I believe so. Dimensional binding card. Use a binding card on Enderman or Endermite. Okay. Okay, let's make that up real quick. And that will... Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay. We need to make this guy. That's super easy. Make the binding card super easy. Let's find an Enderman. Oh, look at that. It's a zombie jockey. That's cool. Or baby zombie on a pigo. I wonder if I could grab one in our farm before it died. If we took out... Oh, it's only got looting on it. I probably could. Jeez. Those guys are loud. Yes, got it. We did it. Perfect. Okay, so we have the dimensional binding cards. So cool. And now we link it. Oh, we link it. Oh, we link it to here. Like this. Oh, no. It doesn't work. Let's make up another one. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I just need to click it on me then? <gasps> yeah, maybe that was it. Aha! So, yes, this will continue to power us throughout the dimensions, which is so cool. Um, yeah. But that is all I had for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. We got Butchie. Hee <laughs> hee. Bye-bye.